Oh my god. No, he didn't. Are you japing me right now? Wow. This is Papa Zero here once again, and today I got a build for you inspired by Path of Exile 2 Sorceress. Seeing her use two different elements, I too decided I was going to use two elementi. And what really pushed me over the edge to make this build was the following story. Picture it, 1928 AD, a bronze-skinned boy with slightly godly glow approached Zeus asking for the entrance to Olympus to claim his rightful place among the gods. Zeus, however, told him he needed to complete at least one heroic task. And the following is a reenactment of the conversation between the two. Uh, father, why must I complete a task? You want me to make it ten? All right, father. Surely I have done a task such as this. Let me ponder for but a moment. Ah, I got it. I peeled an orange for a blind old lady not a fortnight ago. The entry to Mount O is kinda automated, and that doesn't count, bud. What does thou mean, Ateth, Papa? We use a bot that, like, records everything you do, and it says, and I quote, that ain't gonna do it. Then I shall dispatch a vile foe of sorts. Perhaps Count Dracula. He's not real. What about a small Bigfoot? No. Medium-sized Bigfoot? What? No, Father. I shall slay the legendary Titan with seven legs, three torsos, and six quads. Oh. I heard he has dealt for days. All right, father. I'm off. The young boy left, back to his cave where he resided, for he needed to pack his favorite pillow, fruit loops, and other assorted snacks for the trip. And while packing, Blue Flame Hades, who's voiced by the legendary James Woods, appeared before him, trying to sway the young man into not going after the Titan, but instead the most powerful being in the world. Intrigued, he listened. This supreme being was lawless, with strength beyond measure, has lightning fast reflexes, and eyes that pierce the soul with their ferocity and ruthlessness. Eating up Hades's sales pitch, the boy agreed, but only on the condition he could take some of Hades's flame hairs. Not super thrilled, Hades begrudgingly agreed. He told the young lad that he would find the strongest being on the planet in the city called Thebes, in a pub called Xanthor's Knee. The young man traveled 46 days and 63 nights to get to the big olive city. There, he found the pub, and when he finally set a foot inside, he was at an awe, because the person staring him in the face was LL. Cool J? Lucy Lawless. He unsheathed his mace and was ready to strike, but instead of fighting him, Lucy invited him over to have a beer with her and her companion. Hesitantly, he obliged, sitting next to Kevin Sorbro. Would you fight with me, Miss Lawless? That's a hard pass. Why not? I forgot my lucky frying pan. Confused, he proceeded to tell her that originally he was supposed to fight a titan with five eyebrows and one toe. But Hades talked him out of it. She told him to stop worrying and to call the 1-800-GOD helpline to seek guidance. Reinvigorated, he did so. After two hours of waiting on hold, the representative informed him to take the back elevator at Mount Olympus to the 117th floor, and that's where he would find his adversary. Upon reaching Mount O and taking said elevator to that fateful floor, he saw it in front of him. The hideous beast was within its reach. Swinging his mace, he did, wild-like, all over the place. Not hitting it once, but certainly looking cool in his head. And that's when Zeus yawned and rolled out of his bed, still groggy. What are you doing, son? I must slay this hideous beast in front of me. What is it doing all the way up here? What are you talking about? This foul monster is standing between me and my entrance to Olympus. Uh, this is your mother Hera, and you're in Olympus right now. How did you get in here? That elevator. Ugh. Third time this week. That nabbit, Frank? I gotta go, but here is a thunderbolt. Do something with it. Finally, the boy had both fire and thunder in his hands. And that boy was... Hercules? No, Billy. That boy was me. And that concludes my story of how this build came about. Just like Lucy Lawless, we're running low life for that extra damage. That comes from Pain Attunement. My Ball Lightning is in my Sire of Shards, which actually doesn't have any good Crucible nodes on it. Dang. On my Weapon Swap, for tough content, I use Blazing Salvo in a staff that I self-crafted. Nothing special but it does have a plus one to strength gems, making my empower level five. I chose to use Nimis so I can get the projectiles to come back to me. Doesn't work super well with ball lightning, but when I was designing this build, I wasn't sure which spells I was going to use. For Blazing Salvo, however, it works like a charm. I'm stacking Abyss Jewels so I can get nice elemental penetration via my armor. 
I chose lightning exposure on my gloves implicit because I knew I was going to trigger that skill the most. On bosses, I use Wave of Conviction linked to Arcana's brand to get the fire exposure. I got two Abyss Jewels plus Boot Implicits to get Corrupted and regular bleed immunity. Fire and lightning penetration? Corrupted Implicits? Yeah, I made this build around these jewels. <laughs> Semi-joking. I just thought that was neat. For the most part, I use generic damage scaling so I can scale multiple elements. That way, if I was going to use different spells, I didn't have really too, too much to switch around. The only real exceptions are these two nodes right here. As you may have seen before, I'm a huge fan of life gained on hit, and this time around, I actually got the discipline version as well. Also, the reason why I chose cast while channeling instead of cast on crit is because I knew I was going to be kind of squishy, and I didn't want to get too close to my enemies, unless it was bosses, which I knew I could semi-dodge. Who am I kidding? I don't know how to dodge their attacks, but I knew I was going to be fine on bosses because the damage is pretty good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with another beautiful video. Oh yeah, I indeed found a Squire Shield recording this video when I was actually doing the uh, side recordings. Rip luck for next league.